So welcome back to my channel. This is Gamer Dom, and this is Dreg Gok Exile. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, probably butchered it. Apologies for that. We call him Exile. Um, I've scooted through the first well four minutes of this game uh, on proper Oscar because uh, he's driving the Tier 8 French light tank, the auto loading uh, back chat 12 ton, and I, I <laughs> the first. I say four minutes of this game roughly he was just basically whizzing around whizzing around and I know we've got old folks on here whose eyes go a bit funny with lots of things flying around all over the place um, so I no, in all seriousness nothing very much happened it took four, three and a half minutes before any tanks went down at all um, and, and I'm all for f I think to be fair to Exile he was trying to do some spotting over the top every time he got anywhere near the 1-2 line um, an enemy tank that must be up there sort of F or E1 kept spotting him and he had to bail out um, you can see he's only done well, he's only done 300 damage and 2, 000, uh, 237 assistance and that is it so we fast forwarded a bit or started the game a little bit further uh, back the, the game is uh, six place four so his team are doing okay he's got a spot on that love didn't get spotted that time you notice he came up on the hill there did not get it spotted and, and that was good awareness by exile he saw that he wasn't spotted and thought you know what i can have some fun with that love machine out there puts two shots uh, bounces one into the love immediately goes on the reload So it wasn't until he fired two shots he got spotted there, which does tend to suggest there's nothing very much now on the 1-2 line. And clearly he thinks the same thing, and he's going to head over this way, see whether he can get up, spot anything else that's lurking down the bottom there. Again, this time he wasn't spotted. Now every other time he's come over this side he's been spotted. So again, if, if he's thinking about it, it means that... Uh, there's probably not anything there. There's the enemy love. He's good. He's, he's good in this tank. Clearly, he's got two marks of excellence on the barrel. Clearly, loves this tank and is very good with it. It's a Celtic name, isn't it? E. Dragoch Exile. Yeah. Takes down the uh, love. <coughs> backs off before the E1 can hit him. Puts a. Sh uh, I think he hit the E1, didn't he? You now you see, he got all the assistance of that E1 there that's the first significant bit of spotting he's done now there's two types of scouts obviously in this game well, it's more than two types but you know what I mean there's two broad categories there's the passive and there's the active these French auto loaders are very good in the active mode running around like headless chickens is another way of putting it so it is an encounter game here and he's come right through the middle here because there's a, a bat chat 12 ton there that needs teaching a lesson lights up both him and the object 430 decides that i think he was tempted to go look like he was thinking about going for the uh bat chat but then realized the object 430 would probably uh, uh have something to do with it so he bailed out and instead the 430 is now being slammed by other people he's bailed right out come all the way around still trying to keep that uh, 430 spotted nice hit by the isu gives him another uh, 729 assistance damage here comes the object is he going to come out over it looks like he is that would be a mistake of the maker so we've got him in our sights got a premium rounds premiums rounds loaded first shell sets him on fire and that is good night vienna immediately reclips another premium round no, yeah, the series of premium rounds. Um, four shell clip, 18.75 seconds to reload according to the mod here. Up over the hilltop again. We know there was a scorpion somewhere around the cap. He's obviously pulled out thinking better of it because it's an obvious place. Obviously, they know where he is if it's cap going, but still, we know where he is because the cap went off. <laughs> So where did he run away to? Kind of gone that far. We are pretty quick in this thing. There he is. Hello, Scorpion G. One. Two. 
three, four, and four shots into the Scorpion G. Scorpion G is circling our T50. But it's still artillery in play, just one left. Wait for the full clip reload. Scorpion takes down our Skoda. Right, just about reloaded. Ah, before we can get away. Oh, it was a bit of Skoda on Skoda action there. So, uh, 2,000 damage, 3,500 assistance. They're looking for the RT. It's not in the corner where it often is. So, XR thinks he must be on the hill. And he's off and running. Every possibility that American, arm, uh, uh, American Army army our artillery the m5355 is actually reasonably sprightly and yes indeed there he is lock on to him uh, but never get the shell away but do get the assistance so gg well played so as i say it took him a while to get going there which is why i scooted through most of that he got an ace tanker out of it he got spotter he got arsonist and fire for effect and patrol duty finished up uh, top of his team, 2019 damage, 2 kills, 1295 base XP. Fired 17 shots, hit with 13, penned with 12 for that 2000 damage. He only took one hit, and of course it penned. Oh, it didn't pen him, bounced off him, blimey. Uh, nearly 4000 assistance damage is not bad. Uh, it was a tier 10 game, so you might have expected a little bit more, but he still aced it with a combination of 4000 spotting and 2000 actual. 51,500 credits after cost because he did fire a little bit of skill rounds. 38,500 profit with a premium account. And with his times two um, and personal reserves running, nearly uh, 4,850 uh, experience for his crew. So nice game. A bit slow to get going, uh, which is, as I say, why I scooted through the beginning. Um, but in the end, pretty good job of, uh, of being in an active an active scout causing annoyance and destruction. So talking of that, let's go and have a look at another game like that. Okay, so we've seen one speeding auto-loading light tank. Let's have a look at another one. This is Shoot and Scoop driving the T-71, the auto-loading version of the T-71. So there's two now in the tech tree at tier seven for the American light tank line. There's this auto-loader and then it's Cousin, which has a single shot variety. We're here on Ensk. In fact, we are here on Ensk because I'm in this game driving um, my HTC. Not terribly successfully in this game, it has to be said. Um, Black Wolf is also in this game driving the FE201. Um, it's a tier 9 game, so we were bottom tier. Boo hoo. And there is this ineffective gun working. Look at that. Three. Three shots, finally gets one up the jacksy of the uh, lightweight and then bounces another one. So there you go, that's the gun in action. <laughs> yeah, this gun is not the best in the world, It's, but you know, it's a tier 7 light tank, so it shouldn't be really. So he's immediately reached into his pockets and gone for the uh, premium ammunition and I can't really blame him at the moment. Um, we were discussing this the other night. He does have a little bit of a tendency to hit the two key whenever he comes up against something heavyweight without even thinking about it. But I think in this case it was probably okay. Although now he's wasting a shell firing at an auto lock on a very fast moving LTTB. Never a chance of hitting on auto lock. Oh, hello. Did that bat chat spot us? don't know that it did so you can see I pushed on into the city followed up by Black Wolf who was a little bit slower but uh, I'm about to be absolutely swamped by the enemy team here they come there's a Scorpion G come around my Jaxi managed to put a shot in him but he put one in me and it comes a KB-13 there's a Patriot there's a Tiger P there's a Bat Chat <laughs> it's horrible um, so I die. I want a Leo. I forgot about the Leo. How can I forget about the Leo? So Black Wolf came to help me. Shoot's still playing over here on this side of, of the map. Um, and to be honest, me and Black Wolf thought we'd go that side just because we were heavies and there's not really much we can do in, in this area here. Where Shoot wanted to play with the big boys. First shot bounces on the T30 but puts another one in. There's another tank there. 
Oh, there is there ever. <laughs> There's an Oni. A premium shell to the side. He is taken care of. It's two all, but it's soon to be one of those roll reversal maps. Um, we're about to lose everything in the city. I've already died. Uh, Black Wolf is about to go down fighting too. And so is uh, everything else we had in the city. So, whereas we are winning... Oh, watch out for the train, mate. T30s just can't be bothered to even move. It's not trying to... Oh, we set him on fire. And again put him on fire. Oh, my Lord. Oh, dear. And somebody else gets the kill. He gets hit by an LTTB. And back on the reload again. So it wasn't subtle, he just stood there and just blasted that uh, uh, Oni. Where's that LTTB going? Yeah, she's trying to find him too. Is he going to come around behind us? No, he's not. He's gone that way. Okay. Which means we can bail out this way and go and take out that T25-2. And maybe push up to the corner where there's a... I think there's a Revelise up there. There he is, locked on, missed with the first, or bounced with the first shot, which is amazing. Second shot hits, whizzes round the side of him, and he is down. Go for the immediate reload, come on, reload. Now yeah, he's just paying attention to see whether there's anything else around before he reloads. Yeah, there we go, reload. Only uh, about 17, uh, no, what's it, on his 19.58 seconds for his reload with his full clip of uh, six shells now I remember saying to him at the time because obviously we're on team speak is you might need to go and do some resetting because there's a few enemy tanks coming out but although it's 8-9 uh, it's still very tight very tight indeed can we get that KV-13 first shell bounces second shell pennons and drive by killing misses miss hit right he's down so in on the heavy boys defending get tracked by the tiger p but it doesn't matter because now everything is unloading on those boys in there and there he is gone and, and suddenly just as you like it they're down to two tanks suddenly the game is turned around you've seen just that fast pace td game style that uh, or TD light tank game style that this T71 gives you all these auto loading light tanks are fantastic for this okay artillery is coming in to try and shotgun somebody but not today not today and there you go nice spin to win the game GG well played so a nice little game there from shoot and scoot um, in the T71 auto loader uh, flying around Ensk causing mayhem and <laughs> murder um, which is kind of what these auto loading light tanks do and they're active tanks you have to be fast fingered um, and um, rely on sneaking up beside and behind like he did with that T30 and the Oni and the others getting, getting around where they weren't expected or where they were keeping an eye on something else um, finished up um, with an ace tanker, bruiser, fire for effect Top of the team, 2,679 damage, 3 kills, 13.55 base XP. Black Wolf came in uh, reasonably high here with uh, 13.56. Uh, uh, I just about almost made a 1,000 here, but I did die very, very quickly by being surrounded by the enemies. Overcommitted too far, too aggressive. That's one of my problems. Um, 28 shots fired by shoot, 21 hits, 16 pens. He took four hits himself, three of which penned, one miraculously didn't. Um, only 300 assistance damage because he wasn't playing the passive scout. He was very much the battle attacking scout. 43,000 credits, but oh dear, look at the uh, gold expenditure. Ended up losing a whopping 30, 30, almost 36,000 credits. Uh, would have been more than 50,000 if he'd been running a uh, hadn't been running a premium account just just ridiculous um, and with the times three for the day 6,201 XP for his crew so there you go